watch, watch, watch. Alright, do you need the link? Yeah. Oh god, that's I almost pasted the script, GG. We got a guts Costanza offense here. True. The grimmest of scenarios. Just wait till Rob gets the um, waiver. Is it supposed to be all one line? Yeah, I guess. I'm not really quite sure. Yeah, so I'm gonna do for mine. It's it looks really weird. It's just gonna show up as a syntax error. It, it's just fine. I think it just works regardless. Oh, they've got AA wrong. Unbelievable. You in the cut?
Got done with uh, game one, or sorry, half one. Um, pretty good half from uh, 13 seasons Y minors, um, the Hannah Balkers. Uh, <clears throat> I think most of their caps, though, are, are pretty noticeably like uh, resulting from. Yacht and Thoughts, uh, Mistakes, um, throw like the earlier parts of that game, so, we'll see if they can cut down on those, it was, there was a lot of like, pretty bad contains in base, so, um, aside from that it was just like, single, singular like noticeable errors, from either the offense or the defense, so uh, I think if they can limit on those, I mean they, they ended on a good note, uh, finally getting like a cap, and they're only down by three right now, so I think so long as their defense can kind of uh, step it up, then it should be all right. So we've got uh, 13 seasons Y on red with boats and holds on blue. 
um, with uh, Badger, aka Crippy, the former Majors defender, uh, switching to O. At least for this game, I don't know if he's staying like that this season. We've got uh, two of the three power ups going to Boats and Holds. Tag Pro should be able to help Boats and Holds get out of base. But Kirby's going to come in, and that's another kind of bad grab. They had a lot of those last game, and now they put themselves in another bad position, and that's going to be a cap for uh, Hannah Balkers. He's kind of forced into it, but in a situation like that, you really got to like do all that you can to avoid it. Krippy and AA round have been working really well together. Looks like Guts will be able to get out though. Not quite gonna have the boost, but he is still past two. Let's see if Mex can do anything. He does get a pretty good block, but uh, 13 sees his wire still in position. Guts maybe could have gone out of that, but uh, stayed on the gate a little too long. Kuz is gonna be out with the rolling right now. But uh, Aaron is staying safe <laughs> until he spiked himself. Let's see if Bolts and Holds can get the reset here. Evan's coming in, and Raspberry's going to be able to get out. Nice. I think that's like the second. I don't remember who did it in the last game, but that was the second time they've missed an easy snipe on that lane. Really, I, I think like a flag share, flag carrier should never really go out of base through that lane because the snipe should be very easy but uh, Bolts and Holds have missed it twice so far in this game now 13 seasons why I have kind of set up a re-grab train and Badger's gonna be past a few here Who's not quite going to be able to be, be, be passed. 15 seasons wide with one cap, uh, one pup advantage, but uh, going to have a two cap lead. Horse should be, oh, he was almost out, but Raspberry just manages to get the gate. We'll have a reset for both teams. So like Krippy, not quite going to be able to get past, but a nice bomb try. Let's we'll see if uh, Bows and Holds offense can get anything going. It doesn't really seem like they're uh, necessarily clicking on offense. Got to start like working together better. And it's going to be another cap for 13 seasons. They've had a tendency too, like whether 13 Seasons gets a cap or if they get a return in their base. Bolts and Holds have like been predisposed to just go on a grab fest right after they get the return. And I mean, with the regrab trains that 13 Seasons have had, it just leads to like easy caps, even if they get the return in base. That's with a nice move though. He's gonna be past two. See if they can set up the block. And not quite able to. AA Ron able to push through. Let's see what they can do with pups here. Even race so far. That might just be uh, rolling bombs though for bolts and holds because it feels like 13 seasons have had the power ups where and when they mattered. Guts with some nice moves. We'll see if they can set up a lead here. Hey, Aaron's gonna be let out of base though. This could be good for 13 seasons. Why? And they will be reset. Aaron gets their turn, and McNerdy takes a nice corner. 
Again, bows and holds not really making the plays necessary to uh, to get the reset. It feels like they haven't played anti at all. With a nice out, but Badger's gonna clean him up. And we'll see two tag pros go to 13 seasons. AA Ron's coming into base as well, but Guts makes a very important return. Doesn't look quite like he'll be able to get out of base though. Almost had a nice move. Badger with a nice move off the wall, and this will probably be another cap, and it will be. So, Hannah Balkers take a 5 nothing lead in uh, what should have been an adjustment game for boats and holds. And now with 3 minutes left, they're uh, pretty far down in a hole, like 8 caps. Unfortunately, they just haven't really seemed to be adjusting in these games that we've seen from them. Uh, they'll go down in a hole late, but kind of continue to make mistakes. Should be good for them though, they will be out past four. And uh, Evan will get the first cap for boats and holds. And again, Boltonhold's not really getting a, uh, oops. Getting a solid contain there. It will be up 3v4 right now, though. Although, to be honest, it doesn't really seem like, uh, that'll help them all that much. Should probably take the rolling O if they've only got three, but let's keep it in base and it just gets diffused. So boats and holds will look to uh look forward here to game two and hope that Transilio brings a different game to their uh you know, if they can uh, play better on it. Guts will be past 3. Able to take the boost, but AA runs there and he'll get a kiss. And 13 seasons Y will be reset. They were going to be past a couple, but uh, not quite going to be able to get past the midfielders. Looks like Krippy, uh might be done for the night. I don't know if uh, he's just lagging right now or what, but that could be uh, important for boats and holds if they can take advantage of that. And again, more grabs from boats and holds. They were reset in that instance, but if McNerdy had somehow gone out, then. Again, it would have been a real problem for them. Three, two, one. So 10 to 3. In favor of. Uh... Whoops. favor of the Hannah Balkers.
take a look at the EU here, and uh, pretty telling to be honest. Uh, you've got a lot, a lot of uh, returns in base for Hannah Balkers, and um, a lot of those I'm, I'm absolutely sure came right as uh, the return came in base for Yachts and Thoughts or just straight up Flaccids, but uh, that is not what you want to see for a return uh, or a pop graph uh, for if you're Yachts and Thoughts. Uh, such a large percentage of returns um, coming on the side of Hannah Balkers is uh, never going to end well. Let's see, pretty even pup race, uh, or pup totals, I should say. Um, you know, almost even tag crows, almost even, and uh, got some thoughts actually getting more uh, juke juices, but just not uh, really doing much with them. Alright, so it looks like uh, Boats and Holes will look to keep the same line up, and Tay42 is now definitely in for uh, 13 seasons Y. So it looks like we're good to go. Alright, so double spike for 13 seasons Y to start off. Hopefully an auspicious start for boats and holds. But uh, I think it was Priest will uh, be returned. And got to save a little long enough, uh, but 13 seasons will still be reset. Who's not quite going to be able to get out, but both teams still able to stay reset for this first uh, minute or so. So, pups coming up. Let's see uh, who can win the first round. And it looks like uh, all rollings except for the drink juice, which will go to Raspberry. Hey, Aaron trying to make his way out, and it looks like he will be. Max is ahead, though, and gets a nice return. So be a good reset if you can get the solo, and he will be able to. Nice read from Max. Uh, allows Pokes and Holds to keep the flag in base. So far, McNerdy and Raspberry still doing a good job of uh, doing the same, though. And it looks like Kuz is going to be able to get the first out for Boats and Holds, and he will get the cap. 
That'll be important for bolts and holds to establish something early. Looks like Raspberry will win mid though. They better win this uh, base pup if it's to be worth it, and they won't. So two of the three power-ups go to uh, Hannah Balkers and uh, Bolts and Holds Gamble uh, didn't really pay off there. They will be able to keep the flag in base though for the time being. And it looks like power-ups will run out without any harm. That wasn't a bad play to keep uh, 3 on D there since they were up. And I mean, the stakes aren't really high yet, so I like that play to just keep it safe and um, make sure that they got the reset so that 13 seasons couldn't uh, get anything going. So they will almost be able to get out here and she will. But if Guts can get the solo then uh, this should be a cap for boats and hold. But it doesn't look like he'll be able to. Hey Aaron making a nice play. And he will be let loose. See Hannah Balkers here getting something going now with the re-grab train. And Kuz is going to be returned. We'll see if a kiss will happen. Uh, they don't need a kiss actually, it's 13 seasons, they're still able to get reset. Tay will have the 2v2 blocks, but Kuz is able to come to base. And this is a good play from Evan now to play anti, but he's going to end up leaving. And so the regrab train will look to continue for uh, Hannah Balkers. And then two out of the three power ups again. But Kuz is coming into base. Boats and Olds could be reset here. But Tay is able to work the contain and get out of base. Both flag carriers just working their way around. Uh, Bolton holds are going to get returned first though. Evan just holds on. I mean, he's going to be able to make a nice move. That's with a good gate and a kiss. Wouldn't be bad there, but uh, Evan's going to get returned. Bolton holds need this reset if they want the cap. And Evan's going to be able to get the solo, but uh, they're going to be returned in base. And now it looks like uh, 13 Seasons Y might be able to get reset, but uh, Yachts and Thoughts are able to as well. Power-ups now going to be big for both teams, uh, as 2 out of 3 are going to go to uh, Hannah Balkers, both tag pros. And Raspberry is just going to do it safe and keep the tag pro on base, so they're going to have to delay it, and a nice play there from Mex, I think it was, no, Guts, uh, to delay the tag pro lead. And now three ahead for Yachts and Thoughts should be a good situation, and they will be able to get the replay uh, reset. So really nice plays there from uh, Yachts and Thoughts to neutralize a double tag pro. So close game so far here on Transilio, exactly what Bolts and Holds wanted. Um, they've really cut down on their mistakes and have been able to um, kind of neutralize any regrab train or momentum that uh, Hannah Balkers have been able to get going. Looks like a double tag pro will be in place for Bolts and Holds and it's not really executed well the lead. And so they're going to have a kiss in base, and Evan's not going to be able to get out past the anti. So no harm, no foul, but Yachts and Thoughts probably would have liked to have that cap with uh, a pretty straightforward tag pro lead, but it doesn't end up going their way.
Uh, I think that was, yeah, Guts almost able to get out past uh, defense, but not quite. Tay now going to be able to get out, and Mex ends up uh, bumping, I think that was Evan, yeah, right into a spike, but uh, Aeron's going to get a tag pro in base, Guts is going to work to get this tag pro from mid, and he will be able to. Hey, Aeron, can't see where anyone's spawning, or how many for that matter. Uh, I think if he had seen how many were spawning, he probably would have gone for the grab there, because he could have been out past three. Take a look at the prevent now, and uh, I'm actually pretty surprised by those stats because it really feels like uh, Yachts and Thoughts have, for the majority of the time, kept the flag in base. But um, Hannah Balkers have more hold than uh, Yachts and Thoughts. Let's see if uh, they can keep the flag in base here. It's going to be pretty important that they do so with power-ups coming up. Guts is able to win out the tag pro. Let's see if they remember to get mid. Evan does not, and that's going to be two tag pros for 13 seasons. And Taze is going to elect to go back to defense, so um, which is a wise, wise decision. They need to have at least one to see the spawns. And it looks like it's going to work out for them. Hey, Aaron's going to be out, and Guts might need to stay alive here. Makes a nice fake on the boost. And it looks like neither team going to be reset quite yet. But Evan in danger now, and uh, Hannah Balkers are pressuring. So he couldn't quite hit the bomb, but he's, she'll still have two v2 blocks. And now three in base for boats and holds should be enough. Mex does the right thing to play anti here. Nice boost from Tay, but um, now... Oh, if Evan had grabbed, he would have been past three. Mex is able to keep the flag in base, though. So good job by boats and holds. Ooh, a bit of an overcommit there from Mex. Yeah, <laughs> but Tay, uh, not quite going to be able to play it how she probably wanted. I think Tay's a girl, I don't know. But I'll go ahead and keep saying she anyway. Uh, Guts with a nice, uh, portal on the play. He'll have a boost through gate, but the blocks are there for 13 seasons. So just a one nothing lead for Yachts and Thoughts. We'll take a look at the EU again quickly because I think it's pretty interesting to see. Uh, a lot
lot of, a lot more um, pops in the Yachts and Thoughts base for Yachts and Thoughts, uh, and a lot more Hannah Balkers pops in that same base. Um, indicates much better play on the thought on the part of Yachts and Thoughts. Um, so only a one cap lead going into this game, but I think if they can keep up the discipline to play uh, that they showed last game, then it could work out well for them. Uh, I think on the part of 13 seasons why they just need to uh, uh, take chance, take um, take advantage of the opportunities that they get better. Um, they had a few instances like the, at the start of this game where they had a pretty decent regrab train, but um, just couldn't uh, pull all the way through. And I think if they continue to keep getting those chances and string them together this game, then it's only a one cap deficit and shouldn't really be a problem at all for them. Should they get the chances, that is. Looks like it will be a reset for both teams. Two rollings, all rollings, uh, two going to Hannah Balkers. So it'll be a quiet pup round, and both teams will have to uh, rely on each other to be able to get out. Hey, Aaron, looking to avoid the reset, but uh, but uh, Yachts and Thoughts will end up getting it. So no score here through two minutes, as the next round of power-ups will come up. Hey, Aaron, gonna have an opening though, and he will be loose for the time being. I mean, Nuri's gonna win out the power-up, and three juke juices now for 13 seasons. Why? Not the worst pup to try and neutralize, but not the position that Boats and Holds want to find themselves in right now. Looks like they will get the reset though, so barring any really quick plays here from 13 Seasons Y, uh, they should escape unscathed and they will. Nice block from AA Ron, but a uh, button just in time. And Guts is somehow going to avoid the noob spike and it gets the gate uh, for the return. I'm not sure it would have been necessary if he had just kept going, but if it worked out, then I'm not going to question it. So now a two, to ca two cap lead for boats and holds with the next round of power ups coming up. Looks like they should win at least one. And two out of the three again going to Boats and Hold, uh, Yachts and, uh, fucking 13 seasons Y. But, uh, a tag pro for Boats and Holds should be a help to them. Evan's not going to clear out base though. And it will be kissed, so neither team really benefiting from the power ups they got. And so far, Boats and Holds, the story has been, at least in this half, a pretty good effort to um, survive a uh, bad pup situation. And I'm sure they would prefer to not have to do that in the first place, but uh, there's something good to be said for being able to get themselves out of those situations. Let's see if they can... Uh, Avoid it though, this pup round. A Aaron's going to have a grab as power ups come up, and so a tag pro for each team. As Guts is going to be past two now, past three I should say, but uh, Hannah Balker is able to catch up. A nice tag there from Evan around the tag pro. Will allow boats and holds to be reset briefly. He is going to have a bomb to work with. Mech's just able to tag her in time. 
Yeah, a little aggressive there from Koos, but they should have the contain here. And no, Evan's going to take a swipe and McNerney's going to be passed too. They'll have the gate, Evan just misses the button. And an unwise grab from Mex takes one offensive defense out of the way, but he'll be back for the reset anyways. So again, no harm, no foul. And Koos botches that mid pop a little bit. Luckily, Evan will be able to pick up a tag pro though. AA round's still gonna be past two though. And now, if Boats and Holds can push back to get this reset, Koos is actually. Uh, he'll be safe for the time being. Now, Evan, not quite able to get the return. A little bit of lag here. Let's see if I can do a reset, uh, refresh. It quiets down. Tay with a nice boost is going to prevent the cap for boats and holds, and now McNerdy, if he can get out, uh, could have something going for 13 seasons, which he will be able to do. Uh, whoever died for boats and holds should stay back, and Mex will be able to have the reset for the time being. Hey, Aaron's gonna have a tag pro though, and now he could be past three. Koos is gonna have to stay alive here, and Mex is able to get ahead just in time. Uh, Tay with some anti though. Koos is doing a good job still of staying alive. This should indicate good comms from uh, boats and holds. Each member was aware of the situation there. Uh, another botch contain is going to allow Tay to get out. They'll still have three ahead, but uh, this could have very well been a reset for boats and holds. And now Goose is going to get that reset with the gate. Hey, Aaron, maybe unwise to go through the gate. Like boats and holds should be able to get at least one power up. Uh, Gut's gonna have to stay alive. Oh, he gets a return. That was definitely a uh, wire to wire situation. But now 13 seasons threatening here with a power up and base. Tay is getting a lot of solos right now, and she'll have another one. This should be a cap for 13 seasons. But Max with some nice moves, and now Evan could have the reset. He's going to stay ahead anyways. And now if Guts can get the gate, Guts just barely got that return for cap um, a little while ago. And puts Boats and Holds in a really good position with just two minutes left. Uh, we're seeing a vastly improved game here from Yachts and Thoughts um, compared to the first three halves. Or first two halves, I should say. Um, you saw in between half one and two of game one, they really didn't make any adjustments at all. And um, it showed in that second half, but now they've uh, become much more disciplined as Tay is going to work it in for the cap there. Some nice moves, but Koos is now going to be past three. He will be passed to the gate. But A.A. Ron with a nice portal play to uh, get the L pass 3, and now Guts is going to have to make a play, which he does. Uh, 13 seasons wide, gaining some offensive momentum here, though. They are within 2. And with a fast map, fast paced map like Transilio, I uh, never know what could happen. Koos not quite able to get the gate there, but Mex uh, had the smart play to play anti. See what power ups can do here for 13 seasons. They should be able to win at least one. And now Raspberry's gonna be passed. And Tay's gonna have a rolling regrab if he leaves, if she leaves, but she doesn't. Uh, they will be reset here, but Mex has a tag prone base. And now Boats and Hold's able to get ahead. 30 seconds left for 13 seasons to. 
Make a miracle comeback. Floats and holds threatening here with the reset though. And it looks like that should do it. I hope it is enough time. A nice effort there at the end for 13 seasons. As they could tack on at least one by the end, but AA Ron's gonna get returned. Alright, so uh, Yachts and Thoughts finally able to pull out their first win of the season. Uh, really, I mean, kudos to them, especially I was talking about adjustments in between halves, but you see the difference there in scores from game one and game two. Um, so a good adjustment by them in between games to kind of forget what happened in the first game and, um, you know, just push through to be able to get this first win of the season. Uh, so we'll see if they can keep that play up going forward and in the next week. Uh, so that's all I've got. Uh, see you next time and thanks for watching.